we've got a fish showing on the echo down at uh, 95 meters under the bait uh, keeps on yeah so that's a mile and 95 meters below the bait there's a section of bait here you can see I've been working it you see I've been working that line of bait Second, actually the third mark we've seen today. We've been playing a little bit today. Yeah, sporty conditions. It's a nice fish. This is about to suck about 400. This thing's tail wrap as well, eh? Okay, bring them, bring them. I went out to the 650, saw the bait, and worked there for a while, and then uh, marked two fish, and uh, we did, they didn't come up. And I went back inside and looked at our main area, and then came back out here. One turn over the mark, saw a mark, and it's Saturday. So this fish has been sitting out the back here the whole time. Been in the inside the last day, so yeah. Six tail wrapped, eh? Fish may be tail wrapped. Let's see if we can get it up a bit. Fate lane. Fate. Shit. Not taking. I don't leave it there, but not taking. That's fine. Let him just hang there. Let's see what he does. Okay. That's cool. I'll pull him up now. One now. I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on this fish on max now. I like it. It's really not me drinking. Yeah, no, it's not going to come to fun. Sorry for you. <laughs> yeah, fish is dead. Popping now. Tail wrap coming up very quickly now. That is starting to blow now. So it's floating to the surface now. Yep, for the torch. It's all ripped. Yeah, it happens, eh? It's a nice fish as well, eh? Yeah. Nah, she's just got to come slowly, D. This fish is gone, eh? Pull it, pull it past the boat on the side, yeah. Pull it past the boat. Crack up your big gap, crack up your gap. fish about 450 and you can see that was the spot we headed at there and you can see there's the line that I showed you before yep they don't swim around willy-nilly uh, it's a 
50 pound blue. On a build a beast. A big D. Yep, they work. Put some lines back out again. Okay, we just got tight again. Oh, just look at this man, it's a short bull spearfish. I've had these oaks who give their eye teeth to catch this fish, it's a nice little one as well. Just look at this. Unbelievable. It's a beautiful little fish. They are as rare as hen's teeth. Oh, Jesus, what a, what a beautiful little fish. Yes, I mean this. You know how rare these fish are, Jana? This is one of the most sought after fishes to catch. Okay, listen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go there with your hands, Jana. You're gonna get you're gonna get hurt there. Where's that hook extractor, D? Uh, yeah, the boat's gonna have to go forward a bit. Yeah, he's through both bulls, ain't it? Mark would be here. Yeah, I think Mark, just bring him in the back door, yeah. It's, it's through both bulls, eh? Okay, I'm sure. It's not going to be I'm going to be so. And I did it again. Ah, shit. Hang on a minute. Oh, shit. Just hold on a minute. Watch the rim go. Okay. Swimming. Uh, just slide down, dude. Just slide down. Ah, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, he's cool. How about? It's a bullfish. Yeah, you won't hold that thing, D. So just to push the point even further, that was the line that we've been getting the fish on. We've just released a, a short pull there, which is directly in line with that. We're coming south now because the water is picking up temperature. And I've just heard a mate of mine has released uh, a fish down south. And uh, the other guys, have, the other boats have also decided to come south and they're starting to pick up the radar now. We had absolutely nothing up north, so there'll be a pocket of water down here. And the temperature's gone up to 26.9 from 26.4. Yeah, but if you ever wanted to believe in a line and what happens, and that's exactly the same thing that happens when, you, uh, when you've when you got thermocline. Uh, and when the fish go inside, they line up on the thermocline, so it's, it's as simple as just drawing a ruler down the line, and that's where you get the fish. Now, uh, it's Tuesday, water temperatures dropped 2 degrees. Uh, we've uh, come up north, I was working out, looking for the temperature coming in, there's a temperature break of about from uh, 25.8 to 26.2 so we've come inside, hang on, found the break, gone onto it and we've been working up with it and if you take a line through the marks, those marks, you can see where we've been working and you push it up, it goes straight through that mark up there and that's where we saw the fish on the echo and it just come up behind the bait and just wouldn't eat. So yeah, frustration, but um, yeah, the fish was right on the line and we were we way up towards Jolly Rubino, almost uh, Mopilla. And the fish are still on the same line. Yeah, gee. Get in the chair there, D. Yeah, the fish is going nuts. No, 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 Kaki, he can't. You, no, that's silly. This is a big fish. Thing. No, man, it's but too much for him. Way too much for him. Everything out. No, no, okay. Okay, now it's slow there, G. right next to that mark. Okay, I just hang on. 
<laughs> no wonder we can't get a mile and we can't even clap hands here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well. Whew. Uh. Okay, let's just get everything. How's that? Okay, we came back bemoaning, bemoaning the fact that it turned below the mark and we went tight. Oh man, I don't know any of that on video. I mean, that would have been insane. GT! GT's on the job. Yes. Taking line at all? No. Turn, turn, turn. Ah, oh, he's pulled the hooks. He caught fish, son. Ah, oh, no, he didn't even get a bloody buddy, son. Anyway, that's a caught fish. Yeah, now, what we've been working, you can see these little scratch marks. There's little scratch marks there. Those are, that's a very light thermocline. You'll see it'll improve now. Now, as you can see with the reflection here. Yeah. You see those little scratch marks like that there? No! So I'm just working on an off that thermocline. And we like to work on the apex, the edge. The fish was sitting exactly where it's supposed to be sitting. Turning back onto a little bit more now, it should get a bit, gets a bit stronger. Just turn a bit more into it. Yeah, no. Now we're up with for our coach on this year, Johnny Rubino. And you can see we're working up towards the mark which we which we uh, which we had raised a strappy about seven days ago. And you can see it's on the exact same line. So we're working up but actually this the coast actually the, the contour line swing inside here but but it looks like the current line's taking a direct line across the bay so see that thermocline reading a little bit stronger you know as I'm getting more onto it it's a very fun little things you've got to look at it's it's uh, it'll, it'll look to nothing to the untrained eye but that's what you're looking at it's just as your thermocline it gets stronger and stronger as you move more onto it as you go out to sea so yeah just working that little edge just where it stops scratching and where it starts to scratch as you go back on again that's your edge of your current line and that's where your plankton is and that's where your food is and as you've just seen that's where the marlin is Just come onto the line on the way down home. 
microseconds. That's what you can see on the thermocline, same stuff, same place. I'm going to zoom in get back onto this mark. The mark was actually a little bit below the where, we, where the fish came up because I only waypointed it late. Fish is about here somewhere out there. Come on, man. Yes, shotgun. Oh, wind him up. Wind him up. Wind him up again. Okay, whoa. Where's that freaking bird's gone underwater? Shit. Wind it. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wind him up again. Well, there we go. On the line again. These freaking stripes are driving me absolutely freaking mad. Jeez, man, it was on the short, then the long, and then the shotgun. Coming back onto the line again, yeah. Oh, man. Second one we missed today. Oh man, these things are... I'm gonna have to put a bait out again. Where is he now? Okay, I'm coming. Yes, the nice fish. Just got onto the freaking line, boy. Game on. Couldn't find the line because it's the line swung out to the out to sea. Yeah, he came out down south, and the water's gone really cold. It's gone cold on the inside, and uh, yeah, uh, worked out trying to find the thermic thermic line I was looking for. Couldn't find it, but it swung out 45 degrees. You can see we're sitting over the 800 now. So yeah, but the fish are on the same thermic line they've been on for the last week. So anyway, there we go. That was one from a long time ago. I'm just going to put a waypoint on here. Yeah? Waypoint the vessel. Yeah. And you can see the line swung right out. It's gone from there to there. It's gone way outside. And with the leader just out of the water. Just tip it, D. Just, just one tip it, and then we can then we can go up on the drag. Okay, she's tipped. Okay, you can go up on the drag a fraction, D.
there we go. Come on. Nice little blue. Probably about, oh, I don't know, 100 kilos, 100 and, 120 kilos. Don't put your face in there, D. Yeah, I thought it was a lot bigger. Okay. Oh, there she goes. Okay, 
Lift him up there for you to get into the picture. finish off the 2020 season in Richards Bay. Nice wow. And better still that up there is my crowns. It's actually a sail and a blue. Finished off with two. Eight fish in 11 days. Eight bull fish in 11 days. Did some catching up quickly. Time to go home now. Put all the footage together. And so you could say goodbye to the bay. Until next time. Yeah, it's been great fun doing this uh, program and, and set up on Thermocline. It's not always easy um, to do while you're at sea. There's a lot, to, a lot going on, and especially when we've got fish, uh, fish up on on the, on the line. We don't have a production crew, and uh, yeah, it's it's uh, there's a lot to be not to do on the boat, and um, there's a lot of the times it's just myself and D or three of us on the boat and there's a lot of uh, a lot of work at the back to be done to get everything cleared and out the way we're running teasers and and dredges and stuff so yeah it's not always easy um and uh, and the production won't be perfect so um so being said that i hope you enjoy it and uh we try our best to get it uh, as good as possible so if you're enjoying it hit that subscribe button and join us for the next program see you next time